came by expressing a hope, and that's a hope that's ended the last three and a half billion years of what we've been trying to undercover and what we've been trying to express to many people through a series of lives. There are many people who have no idea of what's been taking place on this planet, and there are many people who will probably laugh at what I'm going to say. But there are also many people who actually believe what I'm going to say, and there are several people who have written books concerning the subject of reptilians. Reptilians are an ancient race. They were actually a hybrid mix many billions of years ago, which came into a foundation of us not really understanding who and what they are. We still don't really understand the total mixing, but we believe that there's a centering of space that brings them through those who come from another outside energy connected to parallel worlds. They didn't come from this world, certainly, and they didn't come from the 15th, which is the opposite end of the spectrum to us. They came from outside. They came from a world before time, and they were mixed with some of our own species. We can't deny them as human beings because they also have light orbs as we do, but they have unfortunately taken a lot of our stolen gold and created a set of hybrid human beings that seem to be very responsible for a lot of the downfall of our worlds and a downfall of quite a lot of the worlds of our friends. They've not only taken over our planet, which we like to know as key, as opposed to Earth, because in the higher worlds we know it as key. This is a representation of the energy that the Earth brings to us. They have also savagely harmed spaces outside these worlds, and some of our very dear friends today, such as the Arturians, the Ashtari, also the Andromedarians, also those from the Pleiades, plus numerous other cultures that also belong to a species of humanoid. These species have also been very degraded and very, very pulled down by a long-term reptilian rule. We are on the space now of actually emerging into a new world. Reptilians are falling back. Most of their original species, as in those who are still in full reptilian body, no longer exist. We have been working endlessly for many centuries to remove this, and we are hoping that one of their major centers that seems to be where they all accumulated in the 16th and 1700s, being a landmass of mountains known as the Alps, particularly in a space that we know today as Switzerland, seems to have gravitated in a huge number of this species. I can't say that all Swiss are reptilian, I can only say that quite a lot of their orbital structures show reptilian space. These reptilian spaces are not really what we need to have in our environment. We cannot point a finger at someone and say we don't like you, but I think we know that there are a certain kind of human that is not very loving, not very honest, not very kind, not very generous, and would probably do anything in his power of ego to take over anyone else, particularly those of the more gentler species. I think on this present day, where we are in our year 2014, from the Gregorian calendar, it's very difficult indeed to say who are we, what are we, and where have we come from. I think the only point is to say that when these reptilians, a full reptilian format, actually leave the planet this time, they will not come back in orbital structures. They are not going to be harmed in this life. They won't even know if they are reptilian or not reptilian. But when they take themselves to the higher worlds, as in when they close their eyes finally and die, as in they leave the life source of the body behind, because as you know, no one ever dies. We only return to our orbital structures, and we then move forward to the higher worlds and the higher world play. When these are full reptilian body actually leave the planet this time, they will return to nowhere, because there is no structure that will allow them presence, and there is no space where they can actually rejuvenate. So as from the 25th of March 2014, 
I would like to say that we are extraordinarily hopeful that we will eventually close the door on what has been taking place amongst our worlds for billions upon billions upon billions of years which in fact only took a total governorship of our worlds around the 1930s, 1940s when the experiment of how many reptilians could actually be squeezed into mountain regions actually took place. Many reptilians have been on our planet for many thousands of years. They have been very much governed by those who prefer to rule by using warfare as opposed to those who would rather form a governorship of hearts who belong to servitude for the people. I think we're all very aware these days that our governments don't really serve us, but they are serving someone else. And I think that's somebody else who seems to really enjoy taking our gold out of our bank vaults. I do believe that this gold is sent on ships, as in spaceships, to the higher worlds. And I do believe that this gold is then handed over to reptilian species who actually then recreate light orbs to be quite a devastating space that are then brought down into our communities as human beings. Sadly, this has been going on for a long time and sadly, we have no way of telling totally who is who and what is what. The only thing I can say is, I don't think they can move any more of these light orbs into our space. I don't believe when they leave our space they can rejuvenate anywhere and I do believe that we have some exceptionally amazing brothers of other species as in our dear Arturian brothers who do have quite a few spaceships on the dark side of the moon. I also believe that there is a ship that the American government has talked about as being a comet. I don't think it's a comet, I think it's an Arturian warship and I think they are surveying us and hoping us the best of luck with our removal of reptilians. They have also undergone a shocking experience with their own islands, islands being their own planets. We wish them love, hope and harmony as we wish every species who desires reptilian free governorship in hope and the presence of bringing a peaceful world into harmony for all times. Thank you.